Do you want to manage your WordPress websites even faster with your WordPress toolbar and main WP? Now you can. I show you in this video how you can use the WordPress admin bar or toolbar to manage your WordPress websites with the main WP dashboard. That's this thing here and this newest add-on toolbar extras for main WP. So now let's jump right into it. Hi, my name is David Decker and I am the developer of Toolbar Extras. I'm a WordPress specialist from Germany and I have developed Toolbar Extras. This is the base plugin which uh, has a lot of awesome settings and awesome features for your WordPress Toolbar admin bar. And this is a special add-on for main WP. Main WP is the main WP dashboard. This is a special plugin which allows you to manage uh, dozens of WordPress websites for updates and other stuff. So this add-on is free of charge, available on WordPress.org in the plugins repository. This is the plugin page here. You can download it. It was just released. It is brand new. And now I show you how to use this thing. So in my last video, I showed you how to install the add-on in a fresh uh, single WordPress install, how to make the first settings and how to set up main WP dashboard with the setup wizard. And this was our result of the last video. So now let's switch the installs. I have another local test install also with main WP with Toolbar Extras already enabled and with Toolbar Extras for main WP add-on already enabled. And this is our result. We have already two websites set up. Uh, these are the so-called child sites, the child websites. These are the sites we manage. These are two sites here, also two local installs. I manage with a local install two other local installs. This is a funny thing, but it is all possible with main WP. But in real life, you would have online installs here, a website that are publicly uh, accessible, that you can just visit on the internet. But your dashboard installed, which is your manage install, where the managing happens, this could also be in local install, but it could also be in online install. This is your decision. There may be benefits for each of those alternatives, but for this demo testing purposes, we just use local installs. Makes a lot of things easier. So this, in my opinion, is some of the main parts. So if you maybe have 30 websites here, then these will be listed and for all child sites, you can manage them in main WP. Let's open this in another tab. You can open WP admin of this child site or visit this child site. This is the front end of this child site you are managing. So let's exercise this for this one here. So this is the child site Gutenberg local uh, with its main WP dashboard settings. I can edit the site, uh, whatever, do a lot of settings for main WP, also for add-ons, whatever. So I can set this up and use the other one we open in WP admin. We jump right into the child side of the admin side and we can also jump right into the into the front end and visit the site. So this is uh, the admin dashboard of a child site I manage. So I can update this child site from my dashboard and I can visit it. This is just uh, testing sites, doesn't matter the content, whatever. 
So if you have, um, we can close this down. If you have maybe 30 websites here, you can easily control and visit this site. You don't have to type any URL, whatever. You can then jump in the admin and the front end and also change settings uh, for this specific site in your main WP. This, this, in my opinion, is a very important part. But the thing is, if you have maybe 100 websites, this will be a very long list going down to here and this could become not longer manageable. So for this thing to control uh, if these child sites appear here in this place, there is a setting, just go settings and main WP toolbar. And there you can control the components. These are the components. We have 11 main WP dashboard updates, add new stuff to in main WP websites. These are your child sites, content, plugins of child sites, themes of child sites, users of child sites. These are extensions for the main WP dashboard for your dashboard install, settings of main WP and server info of your main WP dashboard install or for the child sites. This is also possible. So these are the components. And now we want to change the settings of this website's component in the main WP toolbar settings. So we have had we had opened this. Um, this here, main WP toolbar, jumps right into toolbar extras settings and opens the main WP tab. So this is what we want. We scroll down to the websites component, this one here, and we want to disable the listing of child sites, set it to no, and we want to choose another icon because we don't want this uh, anchor, whatever this is. So let's choose maybe this one here. This gear icon, this generic gear icon. So let's save, uh, save changes. So this could take a few seconds here on this local install, but doesn't matter. So now it still says we manage two websites, which is great. I can also show my groups that I have set up in main WP, but it does no longer show the website listing because maybe we have 100 or 200 sites to manage and this list would be way too long. So we have changed the icon also. So you can also say don't want this dashboard, set it to no, then it is then it will be gone after saving. And what and what does this priority do? You may ask if you change this priority from 80 to 10 maybe, then this will jump right here to the left side. If you maybe give here an 800 instead of 80, then this main WP dashboard component will jump to the right side. So with these numbers, uh, you can change the position of these components here in the toolbar. You can disable the components. You can change the icon of each component and of course the name, the label of the top label item. So this is very convenient. And the websites component has a few more settings because you can enable or disable the child sites listing, the groups listing, and the statuses listing. The statuses are uh, static. They are given by main WP and the groups uh, you can set up yourself. So, and here you have a few other tweaks. So because um, Toolbar Extras, the base plugin is working in the background. This has by default a few groups that appear here, a few other components if you want. And 
A few of those components are disabled by default, the so-called build group, the manage content items that would, would appear here on this area are removed, the WP widget items also here in this group uh, are removed, the comments item which is here on this in this area somewhere from WordPress is removed. Yes, and you can also remove this whole group here if you want, but this makes no real sense because you lose a lot of important stuff, so it's not recommended, but it would be possible if you want. You can remove the, the WordPress updates item. This is, this is the updates from main WP, and we will bring back the WordPress updates that were removed here. So you can see the difference in a moment. So where are the ah okay <laughs> we have no we have no updates at the moment. If we would have updates at the moment we would have here another update item and these are managing main WP items. So this is the perfect example um, because it was confusing to me in this moment, so we set it to yes, remove it, because we don't want the updates of the dashboard install itself, we want only to see and manage the updates of child sites, this is what we want. We can also remove this new content group from uh, WordPress. Um, Let's do that as well. This might be a better option. And you would have seen this setting here, remove left-hand blocks admin menu. What's that? This is a um, top-level admin menu called blocks, and this is added by Toolbar Extras for the block editor, also known as Gutenberg. Uh, for installs of WordPress that are 5.0 or higher. So we don't want that because this is a dashboard install for managing websites, so we don't want a block editor item on the left hand. Just to get more focused and to have this dashboard install way more cleaner. So you can also unload main WP translations. This is uh, enabled here because I want to show you all this stuff in English and not in German, so I just have disabled the translation. This is also a nice a bonus feature. So let's save this to get rid of this uh, new, new content item group. So it's gone for good, and now we have only the add new stuff from main WP if we would want that. So we can add a new child website in our dashboard install, we can bulk install new plugins on all child sites or, the, or certain groups, the same for teams, we can install a new main WP extension, we can, uh, we, when we have the file uploader extension installed, we can upload a new extension, uh, <laughs> new files for child sites, we can set up new code snippets which affect child sites, we can bulk add pages for all child sites, the same for posts which affect all child sites, and the same for users as well. So this is where you can add new stuff, manage your websites, this, this we already had, then you have content, in my opinion, I, I don't need this uh, content stuff, so we will remove it in a moment. Also, themes. I don't install new themes every day on my child sites I manage, so we will remove this as well. And the same for users. And this will even more streamline our, our dashboard here. So let's remove the content component, the themes component. So we display, no, we will want to remove it, so set it to no. So it will be gone in a moment. So now our toolbar is even more cleaner. 
and we can get more focused. Updates, which makes total sense. Sometimes we add new stuff and want to just have a great overview of it. Websites, we need it, this is essential. Plugins, in my opinion, uh, this is very important. I need this very often, once a month or so. I walk and install new plugins, makes total sense. And here are listed extensions because main WP, the makers of main WP, put out a lot of great extensions, a lot of free ones like this one here, the clean and lock, um, or some of the, as um, they have other ones which are very great, and a lot of paid extensions like the file upload or the code snippets, and uh, a lot of these maintenance and uh, other stuff like that. Uh, these could be very helpful. And these are integrated here as well. So if you happen to have some of those active, maybe you have bought them or installed the free ones, they will appear here, but only if they are activated. Not activated or not installed will not appear here. So this will also be very helpful. And we even support the activity logs extension. This is a third-party extension for main WP uh, for covering activity logs of your child sites. And these are also listed here. So all child sites that have activity logs activated from this vendor and are set up in your main WP dashboard will appear here. And also when you have website listing enabled here, they will also be here. So let's activate the website listing again, I, so I can show you this little detail, because in my opinion, this makes total sense to have this accessible from websites management. So this Polylang Elementor local test install has activity logs um, enabled. So let's click on it and you will see the activity logs from this child website in our main WP dashboard and see what we have done. And this is very awesome stuff because if you have maybe here 20 websites and 10 of them have the activity logs um, enabled, you can just easily access it from here for this specific websites. This is dream come true in my opinion. So, and <laughs> I, I have uh, clicked by uh, accidentally of this on this link here to have the server info, but this is also a great thing. You can just always check the server environment of your uh, main WP dashboard server install and uh, have all this great uh, information handy here with quick jump links. You can also check the child sites server info and you will get on an overview page and have to select one of those child sites and then can access the information. And from the toolbar here, as you can see it, this is so easy and it is split into the, in the components, into the topic sections if you want. And it, here you have a lot more mouse travel, as you can see. Here this is way more easier, in my opinion. So, and here I also integrated the site health status of um, your dashboard install because this could also be very uh, useful if you might have any problems in your main WP dashboard install because it, it needs a lot of power and a lot of performance uh, resources. So it's uh, very important to check the health status for this management install uh, regularly. So this helps you. This, these are new features of WordPress uh, 5.2 and this is integrated here as well. So you can also uh, at any time if you have the dashboard component activated 
jump to the wizard steps of the setup wizard and can change those in a moment if you want because these are also sorted uh, logically for each step and this makes a lot of sense because in these steps the settings are summarized uh, more easily for better user experience. And also the thing is you can access the, um, the external resources of main WP. These are always in this group uh, with a different background color and you can see our documentation. They have awesome, great documentation, the main WP makers. They have a very big and awesome Facebook group. And you can, of course, also, if you're paying customer, access their uh, support offerings and get uh, help if you want and if you need it. And also for extensions, if you have this framework extension, you can also jump right to their documentation for this specific extension. This is also very helpful. And even for the third party extension like this one, you can also jump right into the documentation for this specific third party extension. This could be very helpful. And here also come the, the, comes the power of Tupa Extras into play because if you don't need or don't want to see these extensions, uh, these resources, sorry, it's a lot of information to cover here. If you don't want to see these resource items, so then just remove it. So you go to uh, go to toolbar X, go to toolbar extra settings in WordPress settings, toolbar extras, general settings, scroll down to which items to display, and set resource items to no. So let's change this and let's see what happens. It, it takes a few moments here with saving, so don't let this confuse you. If this is an online install, it will be what much faster. So the, the resources are gone and also the extension resources are gone. So you can really leverage the power of Toolbar Extras and the other basic features the Toolbar Extras base plugin already has can you also use for the main WP add-on for, for the toolbar. This is, this is awesome in my opinion. So you can also change the color here. We have set up the main WP green, but maybe you want it in a, in a great red, or maybe you want it in an orange. Let's, let's change it to orange because <clears throat> this is more of a warning color. You want to, <laughs> you want to really get uh, awareness of your uh, dashboard install. So now this shines a little bit more, but uh, maybe you want our, our true plug-in color of toolbar extras. So change it to this great purple, uh, one of my favorite colors. So you can also have it in this great uh, purple color. So let's wait for the saving. Yes. And now you have this great color. So this is just to uh, make you feel more, more at home with your install and customize it a little bit. And you can also change here this uh, icon and this text here, this label text. Uh, with This is the text here, as you see, and this is the, the network icon. You can choose any, any icon you want here from the dash icons. So that is all I have to show you for now. And in my opinion, controlling and managing main WP from the toolbar here makes a lot more sense. Oh, sorry, I have uh, forgot <laughs> uh, important thing. Uh, the updates here, um, you can uh, start the synchronizing from here if you happen to, to be on the main WP page because this is JavaScript powered, um, we go to the, uh, back to the main WP dashboard. And this is the main WP page here, admin page. And we can sync child sites from here. The model starts from here. Uh, this is like magic. So we just close this. We can also update everything from here. 
This is um, from main WP. This is not from the toolbar extra plugins. We said we say yes, we want that. And so the, the update routine of main WP is starting. So what, what the great thing is, you can start those actions right from your toolbar and have the model uh, appearing. The same for all plugins, the same for all teams, and the same for all translations. But please remember, for these um, model pop-up actions to, to be appearing, you need to be on one of those pages. Yes? From overview until server information. These are main WP pages. And when you are on one of these, then these actions work. Uh, okay, and <laughs> the last thing I want to show you is main WP plugins. This is a built in filter in the toolbar add on. This will just filter all your installed, um, active, and non active main WP plugins extensions from third party and from official main WP stuff. So in this install here are 42 because these are main WP dashboard, a lot of free extensions, a lot of paid extensions and third party extensions, including the toolbar extras for main WP dashboard. So this was the last thing I wanted to show you. Now have fun with main WP and this great toolbar extension for get, getting more productive, get more focused on your install so your work gets done faster, your daily and weekly tasks. I wish you a lot of success with it, a lot of success with your clients. Have fun with this free plugin. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel enable the notification bell on YouTube for this channel. And thanks again for watching. See you in the next one.